I'm live. Hello. Happy 4th to everybody. I figured I would just do a live and share some stuff that I recently have acquired from my thrifting and also from Goodwill. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Thank you for supporting our auction this past week. I just want to say I also heard from the grapevine that there was some gossip about it. And I feel like I should say something about that. And that is that um, I'm not bothered by the gossip and I'm not bothered by the thumbs down. And for those of you who want to gossip about me or, or what's happening, um, if I do an auction like that, you know, I feel I feel sorry for you because I, I feel like we tried to do an amazing thing the other day. And it was honestly um, not just, you know, about me, even though I was hosting, but it was about the amazing women who joined me and supported that auction to do a really nice thing. So if you want to gossip about it, OK, but I suggest you use your time in a, a better way and maybe do something nice for someone else and pay it forward instead of wasting your time in that way. Anyway, that's what I have to say about that. Now on to great things. Hi, Hudson Vintage. Hi, Susan. Hi, Heather Wards. Hi, Boot Black. And thank you for joining me in this impromptu little session, little sesh. So let me share some of the things I have purchased recently with you, and then we'll go into a Goodwill bag. <clears throat> let me clear my throat first. And Dawn, feel free to weigh in on some of this stuff. I, I know you've seen it in a photo, but if you have anything to say about any of these items, feel free. I always respect your opinion. And I am going to share this, which I don't know much about. Um, this is the... Duchess of Windsor bracelet from Franklin Mint. Uh, thank you, Heather. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I felt like I had to say something about that because I I was kind of blown away that that was taken in any other way but a positive for um, for somebody. So anyway, um, this is Franklin Mint. I don't know anything about Franklin Mint. I do know this is. Um, gold plated and it is super cool and holy cats. Yeah, I know. Isn't it me? So I don't know much about Franklin Mint, but um, I did do some research on this and it looks like I pay and I paid a fair amount for this, but I loved it and I wanted it. So I think I paid $50 or something, but I see online that it goes for 300 or so. So, so I don't know if that was a good investment, but that's what I did. <clears throat> and this, I just loved. I just loved. It is not signed. I just thought it was the coolest thing. And I love things that are big in scale. By the way, this is this was purchased um, from Dawn at Hudson Vintage. I haven't worn it in a while, but I am wearing it. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, no, I just got... Uh-oh. I just got snagged. Oh, okay. So make sure it's costume. Um, I will. I will. It does have some. I know it's gold plated, but it does have some um, eyes that might be gemstones. I'll test this later with the presidium. But look at that. Is that crazy? I love it. It's a pendant or a brooch. And I love that so much. And that is not branded. This is, however, this is Kenneth J. Lane, and I'm crazy about Kenneth J. Lane, so I was happy to find this, and it's in perfect condition. I would say this is 1980s, and that's my guess, but John might weigh in and say something different. This is insane. I'm keeping this. Don't ask me. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not selling this. Um, look at this ring. That is amber. It's stunning. I love it. I love the way it's set. I've been wanting an amber ring. And then I saw this and I was like, okay, that is definitely, definitely mine. Oh, you think this could be Carnegie? That's interesting. Okay, let me show you the back, Dawn. Because I I don't know. I don't know if this is vintage. I don't think it's it goes. 
as far back as Carnegie, just by the way it's set. But I, but you're the expert, so I do not know. But I, I don't know. That didn't look like um, super duper vintage to me. Me, I thought maybe 80s, 90s, something like that. But I don't know. You tell, you tell us. Take us to jewelry school. This is um, a strand, as you guys know. I I wear these a lot with my Marla Aaron locks, and um, it's vintage 1970s. Okay. Got it. Um, so this is pink quartz, um, and I love that. Rose quartz. So that's for me. That's for me. I might sell some of these things, but some of them are also for me. This is raw amber on sterling. And I'll probably bring this to auction because I don't look great in this color. Um, this is a little more orange, and I... I tend to look better in that versus the color of, of these pieces. So I might bring that to auction. I'll put that aside. Gosh, I love this. Look at this. Oops. Oh, let me put this to the back for one second so I could show you this. That's amazing, I think, with a low-cut top. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous kind of going down like that. So beautiful. This is all different pearls, um, tiger's eye, onyx, crystal. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. I thought this was really, really unique. Oh, uh, thanks, Rebecca. That's really sweet. Thank you. Yeah, and I, I just, I mean, Dawn, Kristen, and Thelma just rocked it, and I was so happy to, to be able to do that. Um, this is malachite on sterling. Beautiful. I love malachite right now. Really digging it. Um, this I purchased from Lydia because it reminded me of my boo. And that's a present for me. I'm going to keep that because it reminds me of my little cat, my little angel. Um, this is beautiful too. This is turquoise on sterling i might bring this to auction because i have a, a turquoise ring from my grandmother that i tend to wear it's a huge piece of native american turquoise but that's um i think that color is absolutely outstanding and this is the um a similar ring in onyx and i will likely bring that to auction this week as well. And I should mention, Don and I are doing an auction on Thursday. We didn't do one last week um, because we were focused on the Friday auction, but we will do one this week and it'll be on my, Don, is it on my channel or your channel? I think it's on my channel. It's on my channel on Thursday and then Don's hosting one on Sunday. So this Thursday at 4 p.m. And I think we're gonna do a long one this time. I think we're gonna do a, um, a four hour auction and we are going to do another let's get real because um i think that everyone really liked that one we got a lot of positive comments the brooch reminds me of the vca pieces commission for princess grace interesting interesting okay cool thank you for joining guys i know you have a lot to do this weekend for the holidays so i appreciate your support i love it I will bring this to auction as well. Um, that's amber on sterling. And I love that it's so many different colors of amber. Thank you, Heather. That's really sweet. Thank you. Um, sometimes you're just in a position to help. And I think if you are, then you just do it. And, and, and that's it. And there was, um, there was no other way to go in my mind than to do something to help when you hear someone needs it. That's it. Um, okay. I love this mother of pearl and marcasite and that's super pretty. And then I love this little piece as well. And it's just a genuine pearl, very sweet on sterling. And I will bring a lot of this to auction. Some of it I'm keeping and some of it I'm bringing. So let me know if anything's of interest. I will say, full disclosure, when I got back from Miami, 
Um, I was so happy to come back to a lot of purchases that I made before I left. And so I, I did go through a lot of this already. So if I'm not acting surprised, it's because I'm not. Um, oh, Don, which do you want? Tell me. Because I have, I already have something aside for a friend gift for you. So let me know. Um, okay. And Thelma, I wore these today because I know if you're watching, um, I know you're looking for thicker hoops and I figured I would model these. Let me know if you like these and I will send them to you for participating in the auction the other day. Um, I know you're looking for that. So, okay, let's get into it. I've seen all of these pieces, but very quickly because I think it was like late at night when I got home and I went through it all and, um, and there are some really nice things here. So, okay, this is Goodwill. Oh, let's see. This is, okay. This is a $51 Goodwill um, bag from Georgia. And I always have good luck in Georgia and Pennsylvania. So this, this proved to be very lucky. I love this necklace. Um, I am going to put some of these things aside. Um, that's just costume. This is, I believe, carved bone. And I've got to look a little closer at this and the turquoise. These are elephants. Super cool. I don't know if that's coral and turquoise, but I'm going to look. I'm going to look now and see if I can make sense of it. Um, don't know. Mm, I don't think it. No, I think these are just beads. These are just beads. But it's made to look like coral and um, and turquoise, and um, and that's really pretty, very beautiful. See, whenever I wear a necklace, I can't model the necklaces, so that's oh, I know what I can do. Here, guys, here we go. I never wear jewelry to the auction, so I can show the pieces, but I can just do this. So there you have it. That's a great necklace, I think. Really nice. Hi, Kristen. Hi, honey. We were just talking about the um, the auction. Thank you so much for doing it. And what a fun collab. I honestly think that we should do more collabs like that just for the heck of it. Um, and this is very pretty, too. I don't know if this is turquoise. I think not. Nope, just beads. Um, and... What are you guys doing this for? Is anyone doing anything fun? I should probably test this though, just to see if there's any sterling here. I need new um, 18 karat gold tester. I have to order that from um, from Amazon today. I did I did have some and it stopped working. Um, I think it was too old, so I need some more. Okay, that's cool. Bunch of this looks vintage to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's kind of neat. I think one of these pieces is broken. I mean, I would wear it. I wouldn't care. But one of the pieces is broken right here. So that's fine. Hi, Shara. How are you? You having a fun holiday weekend? This is also vintage. This looks like some kind of carved bone to me as well. And you're having a cookout? Oh, fun. Susan, can we come over? I think you're near the beach in New Jersey. <laughs> we'll be right over to have a barbecue. Um, I love New Jersey. I grew up there, as many of you know. And we're moving to Miami, as you guys know. So I'm going to really look forward to visiting my family on weekends like this because it's only this is broken. I'll put that in the craft lot. Um, I must have missed that the other day. I'm really looking forward to being near my family and going home on holiday weekends and having some fun. This is pretty. Um, this looks like, I think these are real pearl coral. And I'm gonna have to look at the link there and see what this is, if it's on 
um, gold plated or anything. Let's see. Let me look at the lock. Mm, not marked. It looks like this could be gold plated though. So that's really pretty. You're playing with beads today. <laughs> I know. I just said that to someone. I said it to one of my one of my girlfriends. I said, "Give me a call today. I'm just gonna be home playing with my jewelry, some beads, and a lot of necklaces in this lot." Um. Here's an earring. Hold on. Oh, that's pretty. This looks like genuine pearl on silver. Pretty. And what did I just have in my hot little hands? Um, this is a shell necklace in orange. That's, I think it's broken here. All right, we'll put that in craft. Someone will use that. Um, here we have one of these genuine stone bracelets with an infinity symbol as the toggle. I'll have to test that. That looks like silver to me. And that's pretty, very pretty. This is a, a really great um, bag of jewelry because uh, I've already gone through it quickly and I really liked it. So that's cool. Almost looks like an animal print, doesn't it? This is acrylic. Okay. <clears throat> and this is, that'll go in craft, I think. This is kind of a stretch bracelet with wooden beads. I'm not gonna sell that. Um, here's a stretch. I bet my stepdaughter's gonna like that. So I'm gonna put that aside for her. Here's a bangle made of seed beads. People are so talented. It's unbelievable what people do with some of this stuff in the craft lots. Okay, pretty color blue here. This is, I don't think this is marked. I don't think so. I do like this color blue though. Maybe I'll put this in for a lightning round. There we go. Very nice. And um, this looks like a Leah Sophia. Uh, let's see what this says. No, it's not. This is Elaine Bryant. Hmm. It's broken though. So I'll put that in craft. I guess I didn't go through this completely. I must have been half asleep because I think I just got home off the plane and started playing with this stuff. Um, okay, this is a costume piece, pretty blue beads. I like that color, really like that color. What is that? What is which, what? John, which one? This or this? Or the thing before that? I don't, John, tell me, tell me what you're talking about. And I'll hold it up again. This is awesome. Um, this is, I mean, some of this stuff could be sterling. I have to, I have to test all of this. This looks like these could be sterling beads. Show Adrian some love. Ah, oh, thank you. The cornflower blue. I know, isn't that a pretty color? I'm gonna have to test some of these things. This, you mean? It's a beautiful color, right? All right, Dawn, I'm putting that aside for you. I think you like that one. All right, um, Dawn, what are these? Do you know what these are? These look like they could be sterling. They all have these locks um, and some of them look like bone. What is that? Mary Jane! That's my best friend who lives in Dubai. Hi, honey. Mary Jane, I sent you some information today. Let me know if that helped um, for your travels. Okay, this is Shell. And 
Oh my God, Mary Jane did such a funny spoof video on, um, <laughs> on me doing these jewelry videos, as only Mary Jane can do, because she's like a sister to me. Um, what did you call this, Mary Jane, a jewelry inspection tool? Oh my God, that was so funny. Okay, um, very pretty shells, beads, nice little necklace there. What time is it in Dubai? Tell us. Um, and this is cute. Costume piece with pink beads. Very nice. I'm going through this fairly quickly just because I have already been on for 20 minutes and there's a lot to go through here. And love that necklace in black and white. Yeah. That was a cool one, right? I don't know what's going on here. I think this is for the craft lot. And this looks like a painted shell. I don't know if that's hand painted or what. This is going in the craft lot. I'll deal with that later. Okay. Another beaded necklace. Lots of beads in here. Lots of beads. This is a New York and Co. I'm gonna put that in the craft lot. This is a bit worn. Oh, you like, okay, Thelma, I'm sending these to you. When you said you um, were looking for a pair of thick hoops yesterday, I did go into my hoop collection and I pulled these as something I thought you'd be interested in. So I'm gonna send that to you as some friend mail for helping with, um, with the auction this week. Thank you so much for that. All right. This feels like bone to me, carved bone. I do not think this is turquoise, but I'm gonna look a little closer. And um, I, I think these are just all beads, but this is definitely a carving. I, I, I feel like it's carved bone. That's an awesome, awesome necklace. So, super cool. I mean, where, what are all these? Dawn, what are these? What are these with these locks? And they all feel like heavy and like bone. And I think some of them are sterling. Hi, hi, Anna. Hi, vintage jewelry galore. Okay, love you too, Dawn. We'll talk later. This is stretchy. That's going in the craft lot. And that's pretty, this little stretch shell bracelet. And we have another stretch. Now I've gone through this, so what I'm really excited to show you guys are actually the smaller things because there's some sterling and other cool stuff in there. What do we have here? Here's a another necklace. Tons of necklaces here. Sometimes native, sometimes made in Thailand. Yeah, I feel like it might be Native American or something, but when you come visit me, you can look closer. And I have lots of stuff for you to look at. I don't know what this is either. All right. This is very pretty. I think this, let me see, this is marked. This is tiny. Oh, this is, um, oh my gosh. What's the designer with the arrow, guys? I always forget it. And I know I have some of it too. Um, oh gosh, I'll think of it in a second. So these are natural stones. Very pretty. I will put that aside. I might bring that to auction. I don't know. My brain, I need more coffee is what it is. Okay. I'll think of that. Or someone tell me. So, thank you. Go, Granny. Go, Sopata. I need to be caffeinated. And let's see. This is Mark too. This, I bet, is Premier. Nope. Wow, this is Avon. Okay. Cute. Very cute. And we've got this bracelet, which looks like Brighton to me. Let me see. It's very bright and light, but I do not see B. 
I don't know. I don't see the B, but it did look like Brighton to me for a second. I'll have to do some research on that. Um, another stretch. This is faux malachite. And what else? What else? This is cute. I like this green color. Hold on, it's attached. Okay, that's pretty. I like this color green. Oh, bye, Susan. Whoops. Susan, have a great, great day. Enjoy. Thanks for joining. Another necklace. This is acrylic, I think. Yeah. Um, okay. And we just have some bits and pieces here. I am going to get to the good stuff, though. I'm going to open the smaller things because I know there's some really great stuff in here, and it's going to take me some time to go through it. And I'll let you know I've looked at some of these things, and so I kind of have a sense of what's sterling here. Um, this is not, so, but there's a lot of sterling in this bag. Sweet little earrings. Those are sterling. This ring. And I like this butterfly, but it is not sterling because I can see some of the copper going through. But that's a pretty ring. That's, that's going to be for my stepdaughter too, actually. I will send that to you, Alyssa. If you're watching, I love you. Um, this is pretty. The ticket's still on this. It says oval leopard, and that's pretty. I hope I have the second one to that. I can't remember. Get to the good stuff. <laughs> All right, Mary Jane. I know. That's pretty. I like that. Hi, Liz. Love those little hoops. I know. That's pretty. I can't remember if this one's sterling. Gosh, I'd love it if that one was gold. So I like these stones here, these baguettes, but I'm sure it's not real. So, but yeah, we'll test them. We'll test everything. But that's pretty. Hmm. Okay. And these are marked Ann Coplick Designs. And I believe. These could be sterling, but these have to be tested, too. That's a very pretty earring. Very pretty earring. And I know there's a match to this, so we'll look for that. This is um, a lot of these rings in here are sterling. I'll test them once I get my 18 karat solution, but that's one of those faux engagement rings. So there you go. A lot of people travel with those instead of their own rings. This says um, Ruby Ruby 14 karat two-tone plated. So that's an actual ruby. There you go. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. And we've got a brooch. So that's nice. I will definitely bring some of these on Thursday. Uh, if you like anything, you can write to me beforehand. And this says Oneida. I don't know if this one's sterling, but this is one of those spoon rings. And there you go. I am all bedazzled. Very pretty earring. That's probably cubic or some kind of crystal. And we've got this, which I wish was sterling, and I'm sure is not. Very heavy. Very heavy. Um, no, this doesn't look sterling to me, but nice ring. Very nice ring. Lots of little stuff in this one, guys. Bear with me. This I have to test. I wasn't sure on this one. It looks like, I don't know. It looks like a flower. 
And I thought this was cool. I don't think it's sterling, but I, I have to test everything to be sure for my own curiosity. Um, this is a clip-on earring. Vintage. And we've got a hoop. And that's got the greenies. Let me put that aside. I love this pendant. I absolutely love this pendant. That is so pretty. I may have to keep this one, guys. I'm not sure yet. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. Love, love, love. What is this? Okay, little baby hoop. Um, where's my magnet? I made a whole mess here, guys. Oh, here it is. And I apologize for my appearance. No, this is not real. Um, I am, yeah, nor is that craft. Um, I did not feel like getting glam today. So I am having a ponytail day. It's a pretty pendant, not magnetic. Um, that looks like a natural stone to me. We'll see. Oops. Oh, I like these hoops, but they're broken, and these are sterling. So I am going to put that in the scrap lot, unfortunately, because this is this is broken. All right. Um, we've got this ring, and I think this was sterling, if I recall, with a glass stone. Yep, that's marked 925. And I believe that's glass. So I'll, I'll test everything just to be sure, but sometimes you just know. Um, here's a pretty stick pin and a heart. Very sweet. Oh, this little kitty cat. I'm so into my cats right now because I love my little cat. I think this is sterling too. Look at that little guy. I think I'm going to make myself a charm bracelet with some of these silver charms and one of my um, one of my silver bracelets. I have so many of them that have those links that you can make into a charm bracelet. This is Mark Sterling. That's pretty. I get a lot of interest on um, my Sterling bracelets. So I might bring that to auction. You're back? What, did you spend quality time with, with Rob in those four minutes? <laughs> I love you, Dawn. I love you. Oh, Dawn has become such a good friend. This is one of those um, pendants, extender pendants and crystal. Dawn and I spoke this morning, and, and we were just saying, like, how lucky we are to have met a friend you know, online that is also a good, you know, I'll call it business partner, but, um, but you know, how lucky we are to have found a friendship, like in the middle of all this crazy COVID stuff. And we really are, you know, becoming very good friends. That's pretty. An earring. Let's hope we find the match to that. This is tons of rings in here, by the way, tons of rings. This is unmarked, and that's costume, but very pretty, faux sapphires. And, oh, I love this pendant. This was marked, I think, too. Yeah, 925. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, hi, Tula. How are you? Oh, you're excited to join us live? Yeah, I'm I'm horrible because I I often do not um, know when I'm going live, and I just do it. And I'm much better about promoting the auctions. This is awesome. I think that's sterling. That will be tested, but that's so cool. Love that band. Um. Oh, and I loved this too. Hold on, guys. Wait, for, I have to take some of these rings off so I can show you the others. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is wire wrapped. And I hear Mark around. thought this was pretty. I think um, some of these are 
well, probably all of them are genuine stone. Mm. I will test that, but I love that ring. Love it. Love all these things. This was such a great bag. $50, guys. $50. And um, this is costume. Um, I think that, that this was well worth the 50. Let me see. Is this could this be gold? No. Pretty hoop. Gold tone. And oh, I liked these little huggy hoops too. I always wanted huggy hoops in like a uh, 14 karat. Um, I would ask Mark for them, but I told Mark that he basically doesn't have to buy me jewelry for a long time. Those are cute. Okay. Oh, I loved this ring, but it's cracked. Oh, I'm so mad. I mean, I could probably wear it. I'm definitely not going to sell it, but there's a, a crack right there, a chip. But this is sterling, and I'm sad about this ring because this was a beaut. Look at this. And I look at that setting. I really like that setting. Um, I'll probably wear it, but I won't sell it. Isn't that pretty? I'm sure that's aquamarine. Well, let's test it. Let's test it, everybody. Um, this is Hand of God earring. I bet that's sterling. Yep, I think it is. And here's a pair of earrings. And there was a lot of sterling in here, guys, a lot. Um, and I got very lucky on this one. I haven't really done a, a bag in a while. I have really been enjoying going to the stores and buying things individually, which I showed some of those hauls earlier. This is, yep, these are sterling. These are sterling, hold on, let me do this. Thanks for joining, 40 of you in the chat. I wish I looked prettier today. <laughs> oh well, um, those are pretty. Crystal sit. Oh, it looks like Swarovski. All right, let me see. Let me see Thelma. Thelma's got a good eye. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, Thelma. I'm sure you're right. I am sure you're right. Let's see what it is. You are right. Yep. I was hoping it was an aquamarine. Sometimes you, you convince yourself that you found something, and it's really not that. <laughs> not that. All right. All right, now I don't feel bad because if it was an aquamarine, I would have felt badly that it was broken. These are um these are turqu these are turquoise chips in that little bottle, and I think that's super sweet. I love that. Love, love, love that. Throw that on a chain. Oh, the necklace I'm wearing is um is a purchase I made from Hudson Vintage. Before we became close friends, I um, I fell in love with it. And um, Don, if you're still in the chat, uh, would you put your store, your online store in there? Uh, this is an extender, very pretty one. Very pretty, love that. Or pendant, but it's it's made so it can clasp onto anything. Um, here's the other, oh no, this is a different one. This is another huggy earring. Sorry, everything's so small here, but it is what it is. Sometimes the smaller things are the ones that are more interesting. This is a class ring. Let's see what it says. It says... Huh, something high school. And I don't know, this, this might be gold plated or something. Don't know, I never got a high school ring. Did you guys get your high school ring? Um, this is Mother of Pearl with an M for Mark. And an earring, let's see if that's sterling. No, costume. And that's pretty. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is Premier Designs. 
and gosh, there's so much in here. I probably should have split this in two. This is a pin that's spoon jewelry. And we've got, oh, this is pretty. This is very pretty. This looks like maybe quartz. Um, I can't remember if this was sterling. Hold on. It's marked. I think I think this is sterling. This might be quartz. Hold on, guys. No. No, this is glass. But I do think it's on a sterling setting. Pretty. Very pretty. Let me know if you want me to bring anything this week. We will be back on Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific Coast time. And we're going to do a long one this week. We've got a lot to show you guys. And um, I'm excited. It's going to be another Let's Get Real auction. That's not marked costume, I believe. So we're looking forward to that. It's another pretty hoop. Very nice. Gold tone. Yep. Very pretty. I love a hoop. I love a hoop. Always sexy, always pretty, and always appropriate. This looks like an opal. And if I recall, this one was marked 925. Yep. It's magnetic. Sometimes they lie, guys. This is this is a big ring size, but look how pretty that is. I will bring that to auction. I cannot wear it, but it's beautiful. Very pretty. Thank you for the link to the store, Dawn. And you guys, check, check out Dawn's stuff. She has the most beautiful things. And, um, and that's where I got this necklace. This is Roman. They're uh, J-hoops. And this, I believe, is costume. I bought a similar ring to this from Thelma that I gifted my mom for Mother's Day. Oh my God, Thelma, if you're still here, she loves that ring. She loves that ring so much. She wears it every day and she says it's beautiful, but it's also super comfortable. And um, this is just costume. Here. Um, what is this? Let's see. I think this is, yep, this is Premier. Premier Designs made so much. My gosh, I always get their stuff. Always in these bags. Um, let's see. But there was a lot of sterling in here, and I feel like this was a great bag. I have to test that. That's an earring. And we've got this ring. I don't think this was marked. I do not think. I better get my my silver chester together because there's a lot in here that I need to go through. And I've been saving up a lot. And I've just been lazy and have not ordered from Amazon. Pretty hard pendant. Look at that. Love that. Look at that little dangle in the center. That's so cute. Hi, Mimi. Yeah. Love that. And we've got an earring there, little baby hoop. These things are so teeny. I put them all in a bag so I could show you guys all the little things. There's the match to the earring. Um, this, if I recall, was a pearl on sterling. So, and what is this? Oh, this is one of those rings that, um, a size 10, it says. This is faux. It looks like diamonds, but it's not. It's just diamond cut. And I think this maybe matched the um, earrings. No, that's not. No, this is different. This is... Oh, this is marked Mexico. And... That's a pretty slide pendant. Okay. Oh, I love this ring. This reminds me of something my grandmother had. 
mom, if you're watching, I don't know why, but it just feels familiar to me. Ah, goodness. You know what? I drank and ate way too much in Miami, and I am swollen on and off. Um, I love this ring. This reminds me of my grandma, who I think had something similar, but in 14 karat gold. This is gold electroplate, but I like that ring a lot. And we've got this cross that also says Roman, and that's pretty, isn't it? Very nice. Tigger. <laughs> what are you doing in there? In this bag of women's jewelry. Um, this looks like it's marked. Mm, no, I think it's just dirty. I have a lot of testing to do. Some of these, I think, are cubics in, um, in sterling. But I have to see. Tons of rings. It's very seldom that I get this many rings in a bag. But I'll take it. I love it. This looks like it's marked. 9 to 5. Pretty pendant. Very nice pendant. I'm going to put that aside. Might bring that to auction too. I'm going to try and bring some sterling because it's a let's get real auction. And we're going to bring everything real, sterling, gold, semi-precious stones. Very nice. Very nice. Guys, what's your favorite so far? Do you like any of these pieces? This looks legit. This looks like, oh, no, it's not. It's Avon. That's Avon. Pretty. And I guess this is Michael Kors. I think that's his logo. And people have been texting to do the rest we didn't get to. Okay, let's do it. I have so much put aside, Don. It's like it's insanity. I, and I'm not going to embarrass myself by spinning my camera around. But I've got numerous trays of stuff put aside. I love that earring. Look at that. I hope I have the match to that guy. That's so cute. Little peacock with his articulated feathers. I love that. Um, okay. Blue sunstone. Where did I just put that? Who knows? I'm a mess over here. That's pretty. It's an earring. And we've got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start moving fast because we've been on for 48 minutes now. Very pretty cross, um, an earring, nice, um, cubic. Oh, I have to send this to my mom. My mom, my mom likes to wear these as ring guards because some of her rings got big on her, so she piles these on to help her keep them on. Mom, some of these are on their way to you. That's pretty, little earring. And this is very random, but here's an eagle. And that's a little sculpture. A little, it's not a sculpture, a figurine. Still need more caffeine, guys. Um, don't know what this symbol means. Looks like a diamond to me. And this is, was this marked? I can't remember. Oh my gosh, so many rings in this one. Let's see, is this an amethyst? No, costume. Costume, oh, this is pretty. Gosh, why can't one of these be gold? <laughs> oh, sometimes you get lucky, but this is very, very pretty, this setting. Hold on, maybe it's silver, it's marked. It is marked and it says, I think it says sterling. Um, I think it says, yep, yeah, this says sterling. This is so pretty. Look at this setting, guys. 
That's very pretty. Absolutely beautiful. What's for ha-ha's? Test that. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, that that's a genuine stone. Hold on a minute. Set in sterling. This is testing as tanzanite aquamarine. So maybe this is an aquamarine. Oop. Sorry, guys. No, 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 no. This is testing as aquamarine. That's beautiful on sterling. Love that. Really nice. Maybe I'll bring that too. This is more fun. I'm supposed to be working out. <laughs> oh my goodness. I haven't worked out in so long. So, so long. It is getting to be pathetic. Maybe when I move to Miami, I have a gym in the building. So um, I will have no excuse. That's pretty. Look at that ring. Hold on. Um, the building that we're moving into has a gym and classes on site, if you could believe. That's so pretty. I love that ring. Great bag. I know. I know. I had to share it with you guys. And I feel bad that I went through it, but I was so excited when I got home because I was in jewelry withdrawal because Mark and I were focused on finding the apartment. This looks very bright. Um, we were focused on finding the apartment, and I didn't play with my jewelry for like a week. And so I got home and I tore, I tore it apart because I, I couldn't wait to get my hands on this stuff. Oh, another class ring. Some of these are real, but I don't think these are, but some of them are. Oh, who knows? Let's see. Oh, okay. That's a citrus. That's a citrine, guys. That's a citrine. So let me see. Maybe it's silver. This says H-J-U-L-T, which is probably someone's initials, maybe. I don't know. And it's inscribed. Um... I can't read that, but this might be, I don't know, that might be silver if that's a big citrine. Great bag. Amazing. Amazing. This is beautiful. I don't wear crosses, but that's a very, very pretty one. Really pretty glass. Gorgeous. Really beautiful. All right, we're almost done. Almost. And... And this looks like silver too. And who knows? Now I want to test everything. I really want to find some diamonds today. This is glass. This is glass. Pretty setting though. Very pretty. We've got the other earring, the match. And wow, these are fun to go through, aren't they, guys? I don't know what this is. Let's see. Um, this is interesting. This looks like it opens. Hold on a minute. This has hmm. I don't know how this opens, but it definitely opens. I can see. And I, this actually looks like gold to me. This looks like 14 karat gold to me. Hold on. It does say something. Hold on, guys. Let's see. Um, gold filled, 12 karat gold filled. Pretty pendant, obviously vintage. This bag is amazing, I know. Oh my God, so close to a thousand people. I know, I know, I noticed that this weekend. You know, it's so funny. I mean, I, guys, I have, 
I have a whole other life outside of this with um, the jewelry thing, running a, a PR firm. And so like, I definitely have, you know, goals for this part of my life, but the focus has to be on my PR agency, right? But then, sometimes I get close to a goal, like to my thousand subscribers and I'm like, wow, you know, things are, things are growing. It's so cool. This looks like Avon to me. And I, I kind of can't believe it. And really this was my answer to surviving COVID. I was telling Dawn earlier and you know what, I'm going to talk about it with you guys. Cause I feel like i um, amongst friends. Robert is subscribing. Oh, that's so cute. Um, I'm amongst friends, so I can share this. But um, I have a, a history, a personal history of anxiety and depression. And I'm not ashamed of that. I have worked very, very hard to, you know, overcome it. And I've done a fair amount of therapy and um, and I was in amazing shape before COVID. This looks like another little Avon charm. But my demons caught up with me. And I became very, very depressed. And this says St. Jude. Is a pendant? Oops. I became very depressed. And when I say that, I mean I would go into Mark's office pretty much every day and just cry. And then I, um, well, because I'm, you know, I'm an extrovert and what does this say? I'm an extrovert. So the fact that I had to stay in this house, this says RJN. But this can't be Robert J. Morris. No. Um, yeah. So anyway, I, I would cry and cry and cry. And then I started discovering this whole jewelry world. And I swear it saved me because I, I just, even though we live in California, we didn't really leave very often. We were in the house and I was trying anything to stay busy, stay happy, stop crying. I tried gardening. I started, you know, cooking, which I'm so glad I did because I, um, I really know how to cook now. Uh, my mom's an amazing cook and I was okay before COVID and now I'm getting really good at it. I have to say Mark's thrilled about that, but it wasn't until finding this that I had something to look forward to every day, you know? So after work, I would get a box of jewelry and I, you know, I would just kind of lose myself and opening the box and following, you know, and following all of the um, influencers who know so much more than me. So, you know, those of you watching, and if I don't say your name, please don't be insulted. Um, this is a pin and that needs to be tested. Um, I, I, no, it's not gold. Um, the way I got through it was also watching and learning in addition to ordering these bags um, and studying and buying books and learning from Thelma and, you know, and Dawn and so many others, this is costume. And that's the way I pulled out of it. And so um, this for me is a wonderful hobby. I love doing it. And I hope I'll always have you know, this to enjoy. Um, but, and it's taking off a little bit. Um, and I, I'm so grateful. I am so, I don't want to cry or anything, but I, I am very grateful for this community and for finding this because I, I really needed it. I really needed it. And if you talk to my husband, he would say, this is Avon. Um, he would say he saw a very big change in me after after I did find it. So anyway, um, that's, that's the story of how I got into the jewelry thing. And, um, you know, I think a lot of people, this is so cute. Look at that little guy. <laughs> um, thank you, Kristen. Oh, thank you, treasure. 
You understand? Yes. Yes. There, no, there's no shame in it. That's why I feel comfortable sharing it. I've done a lot of work on myself. And, um, and you know, if it wasn't um, for therapy and honestly, some medication that I've been on um, in my life, I, I wouldn't have met Mark and I wouldn't have created a successful business. And it really did take a long time for me to figure it out. And it, it only came back during during COVID um, kind of set, set me off. But we all have our stories about that. And uh, we certainly are not alone. Um, those of us who have struggled through the COVID situation, um, we've all had our challenges. And, you know, I I think it makes you stronger. These, these look sterling to me. It does make you stronger. And I do think a lot of good came out of um, came out of this time in our lives. Um, you make new friends. I mean, I feel very lucky to have met Don, and you know, you find a new hobby, or you, you know, you find your you find your way. You find your way, and then you look back. I feel the same way about my cancer survivorship. It's like I don't know if those are genuine. Those that might be silver, though. Um, I I would never wish cancer on anyone, and it was a horrible year in my life. But absolutely made me a stronger person and more generous. So this is genuine. Um, this looks like cornelian to me. This looks vintage, and I'm pretty sure this is sterling. I don't see any markings, but um, it's a cute little brooch. So there you go. Um, hi, Makeup Zombie. Makeup Zombie, are you doing a showcase today? Or are you, or are you off today? Um, if you are, let us know because we will be there. And these look like little Avon rings. That and that. I love her showcase. Um, okay, this is marked. What does it say in my jewelry inspection tool? Mary Jane, are you still here? That was the funniest video she did. Let me just get out my jewelry inspection tool. Alex, oh, this is 925 Alex Nani. I'll bring that to, oh good, you're having a show? Okay, we'll be there. We'll be there. Um, you guys all know Makeup Zombie, but um, Liz, if you wanna put your, channel in the chat go for it if anyone wants to put their channel in the chat go for it i support and love all of you guys and um these are cute look at those little cherries i actually have a necklace with um little cherries that i bought from lydia and um and i i think those will match really really well Yes, I just found Makeup Zombie. You did? She's fantastic. She's got really, really good taste. And I love everything I have purchased from her, especially Liz. That, um, that silver necklace I got from you with the quartz in the middle, I cleaned those and you would not, you, I cleaned that. I cleaned the necklace and you would not believe how it looks now. I'm gonna wear it to um I'm gonna wear it to one of my um auctions. Which Thelma, you love these? I'm going too fast. I don't know, I don't know what um what you meant, but let me know. This is marked and okay, interesting ring. I'm telling you, there's so much sterling in here. So much sterling. That's gonna clean up really beautifully, by the way, in my humble opinion. Um, we've got one of these charms for Pandora. Although it's not a Pandora. I did look for this already, but it's one of those Pandora-like charms, crystal. Um, I love this earring. I don't think I have the match to that though, but I will look. But from what I remember, I don't. This is a pretty little pendant um, I think that's probably carnelian. Oh, the cherries. Okay. 
Yeah, that's so cute, right? I don't know what they're made of. They're like, um, I think that they're actually glass. And I feel like, I feel like it's on sterling too. Let me see. Yeah, that's sterling. Yep. Okay, I will bring that. I can bring that this week because it's sterling, and we're doing our let's get real. These are broken. I saw the stone is missing from that, so that'll go in the craft. And we're almost done, guys. Thanks so much for joining. These are silver, and we've got a little cat's eye on that hoop, and I will maybe bring these as well. Um, maybe I'll bring that to lightning round. I love doing lightning round. Those are very pretty. I'm putting some away to be auctioned, and there's a few really cute cat pendants in here. Look at that guy. Oh, I, I am so in love with that little cat I have, my little boo, my little angel. Here's a purse charm, nine to five. Maybe I'll put this on my stepdaughter's um, charm bracelet. I made her a charm bracelet for Christmas. I'm going to put that in there. And almost done, almost done. Here's an extender. And I like using these. On these um, on these pieces and I wrap it around and put the extender here instead of wearing it long so and I also use my Marla Aaron locks for that I don't think this is gold or anything but it is pretty very pretty sometimes they are gold and silver this says number one grandma and these look like they're marked nine to five. I don't know if I have another one of these though. I can't remember. I have to put this all together later. Um, I have two of these. Let's see. Pretty. Very pretty. I like these. Classy. Classy and sassy. Oh no, there's a stone missing. Ah. Oh, well. All right. We'll put that in craft. You can't win them all. You cannot win them all. This is some bag. I should have told my mom to watch. I guess she'll watch later. There's the match. Cherries. Happy fourth. I love those. Okay. Um, where is Boo? She's probably with my husband. Um, Boo thinks Mark is her boyfriend. Um and so she's almost always with him. This is 925. Very pretty heart. Very pretty. And yeah, so she's, I'm sure she's with Mark. She is crazy about him, boy. Don't ask what she carried on when we got home. That's her man. Very pretty. Very pretty. 925. Did I find a match to that? I think I had two, right? Or did I just pick the same thing up? All right, I'll organize this later. I don't want to keep you guys too long. This says, with God, all things are possible. And that's a pretty cross. And this looks like it's Mark 2, 9 to 5. I mean, how much silver is in this bag? So someone did not really... Look carefully, and or they just wanted someone to get lucky. Um, that's a costume. I thought that was sterling, but it's not. All right, a couple more pieces, and then I'll let you guys go, and then we have to get ready for Liz's showcase, which I'm excited about. I love her showcase. Every Saturday and Sunday, I'm like watching Thelma and Liz. These are 925. These have to be cleaned up. I love these earrings. Oh my gosh, look how cute these are. These are 925 huggy earrings. So, Verme, because it's gold tone. How do you guys, how do you clean Verme? I have a couple of pieces of Verme and I, I want to clean them. Because it's 
um, it's slightly worn, but I'm afraid I'm going to take all the gold off, but maybe that's a good thing. Here's an angel. And I thought I saw a marking, but I didn't. Little angel, breast cancer awareness angel. Um, I worked for Susan G. Komen for a few years, and that was a labor of love. I had lymphoma, not breast cancer. Um, my best friend just finished her cancer treatment um, not long ago. So I have quite a few breast cancer awareness things around. And wow, that working for Coleman was a labor of love. I took a pay cut to take that job and it was worth it. Um, such a special, special organization. And I really love that job. I use antibacterial wipes or hand sanitizer for that. Okay. All right, cool. Um, I thought you would do your nails red. You know what? That's so funny. I was thinking about it. And then I decided against it because I feel like, oh, this is going to go to my niece. This is 925 Disney. So sweet. Um, I was thinking about it. And when I do a dark color, it usually, um, once it starts growing out, it doesn't look as nice. And when I do a light color, I get another, I would say, week out of it. That's an earring. Um, so that's why that's why I didn't do red for um, for the fourth. This is a charm. I think this is probably silver too. It's a little steamboat. I think it's a steamboat. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. There's one more huggy, matching huggy. There's a little ring um, with an arrow. I might put that in my niece's lot. Um, a little arrow ring. There we go. And what else? A sun charm. I don't know if this is sterling. It might be. Don't know. Not marked. That's, that's cute. A little sun charm. I don't know. That looks like stainless steel to me. And the matching pearl earring. And can't remember if I had the match to this. There's so many little things here. We've got another ring. That's not marked. I don't think that's anything. And... What's this ring? This looks sterling. This says, this says, do, do not be anxious. <laughs> do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and By everything, no, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present, your requests to God, 925. Okay, interesting, but that's very funny that I was just talking about anxiety. Um, that was a super bag. It's fire. Oh, are you guys having fireworks? Oh, we might have fireworks. I know all of that in the little ring. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't know about, I have to ask Mark if we're having fireworks anywhere near here. Um, Dawn's saying definitely not in her area. I'm not surprised about that because they're in a fire zone. Um, and this is pretty, that's Mexico. There's a couple of unmatched things here. I would have liked the match to that, but okay. Sorry for keeping you so long. This was so long. Oh my gosh. Thank you for joining me. And, um, I will be at makeup zombies showcase. So head on over there. And she usually starts, I think at two, um, Pacific coast time. So Head on over there with us. 
Thank you for joining. Please give a thumbs up and think about subscribing if you have a second. And I appreciate everyone's time and attention. And I will see you guys on Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific. John will be there and we're going to share that auction. And it's going to be a let's get real auction. So everything sterling gold, semi-precious, all of that. Um, happy 4th, y'all. Thank you, Thelma. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining. Bye.